What's going on YouTube? I'm about to make a video. This is um, Kinger Box uh, Mini Coil Rebuild. And I'm not using the rebuildable coil part. I'm using this. One of their coils that um, I took the pin out already in the coil. But I'm going to be rebuilding this coil here. You guys need to stop. I'm making a video. And... I'm going to show you guys how to take this, rebuild it. The ohms might not be exactly the same, but at least this will be able to be rebuilt and be reused because this is only up to 15, I think. Let me see. I need my glasses. 15 to 60 watt coil. So we're going to build a coil that will be perfect in here and be able to use more power than that probably. All right, so let's get started. And I'm going to show you how to take this coil apart. Um, I'm going to show you how to take this coil apart. And the way I'm going to take it apart is pretty simple. So give me one second. I just got to clean up over here. Get some extra parts just in case. Um, this is basically the, how it's taken apart after. This one's broken, as you can see. So that's why it was taken apart. This, it's broken right here so and by doing that by this coil breaking was the reason why I figured out how to make this build for these coils a proper way so and we're gonna show you that right now all right what I'm gonna do is just make it a little easier for you guys to see what I'm doing by putting some white paper towels down all right I gotta clean my desk off again. I got all these batteries and stuff. My tools. Alright, so what we're gonna need for this is we're gonna need some snips. We're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna need probably either channel locks or vice grips. Either one. Uh, you're gonna wanna use a small pair of vice grips. It's just a little easier to use. And then you're going to want one of these little tools here. Um, a lot of people have them, especially if you got the rebuildable kits and stuff. They come with these screwdrivers, some of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this screwdriver here. Let me make sure that you guys are in the camera shot. There we go. Um, we're going to take this here. We're going to take either your channel locks and or these. What you want to do is you want to stick this in the hole on the top on an angle right not straight in if you go straight in you're going to take a chance of damaging your end your positive end right here connector you don't want to damage that so you want to go on an angle halfway down and about right below that hole your uh your juice hole there there's going to be a little stop there it's not going to want to go past that that's what you want to get caught in there you're going to adjust this properly. Now on this side, you have a space right there on the corner that you're going to want to grip on the vice grip right there. Do not catch this part here. You want to catch this part here, this lip here. Because if you catch on here, it's not going to come out. So what you want to do is make sure this is on the angle towards you. And then make sure it pops in on the teeth there. Make sure you grab this on the end here. Oops. And if you do it just right, it should it should just pop right out like that. See that? And if it's still a little hard to pop out, just stick that right back in there. Grab it again and push it out the rest of the way. Oh, do I got it in the right spot? There we go. It's down a lot further. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you might want to use actually channel locks for this part. It's a little harder, but yep, just pop it out like that, and there you go. This is your Kanger Box Mini Coil, and you see how I did that? It pump comes right out apart, which makes this very easy to make a rebuildable coil for this. Now, some of you know how to build these coils already. I'm not very good at it because I don't have the experience doing this, but I'm going to do one real quick anyways. 
I believe I have a screwdriver here I could use too for it. You already got Minecraft. That's about, actually that's about right. What do you think guys, a little too small? I think it needs to be fatter. Yeah, I think that coil is supposed to be just a little bit fatter than that. And look at that. You got a big coil head here and a small one. This is for the small one, the smaller one. So we can't use these pieces here. We got to use these here. These are bigger, bigger coil heads. So let me look for a screwdriver that I can use. And I will be, actually, no. Uh, I might have something here. One second, guys. Um, you know what? I'll just use this coil here. Um, this actually might be perfect because I got to be able to fit cotton in there as well. I almost forgot, so I'm going to go ahead and build this, and I think this is actually the right one. Um, as far as wraps go, I believe it was five wraps for this coil, uh, or four or five wraps when I took it out. We're going to have one positive piece coming down here, one negative piece is going to be up here, and then we put it, we'll put it together. So I'm going to use 26 gauge canthaw and we're not going to need a lot of that because we're just going to build a simple coil. Nothing fancy or crazy. So we got that. Actually, I might have coils in here that'll fit. I already yeah, built. So I actually have one here that's too small. Let's drop all my coils here that I pre-built. We got some really, I got some really cool ones in here. Some of them are too big. Adventure Ooh, actually, this one is way too small. All right, yeah, these are all way too, uh, way too small and way too big. So we'll just slide those over. We're gonna grab our coil here. I'm gonna use this, this screwdriver here. I'm not exactly sure what kind of screwdriver it is, but we're gonna go just like this. I'm going to start right here. Um, we're going to grab this because this is going to be our negative. So I'm just going to hold that negative there. What? We're going to do our wrap real quick. I might have messed this up already. No, I think I did it okay. Either way, I can use either side if it doesn't come out right. Um, the only thing is about these coil builds is I'm not really sure on how to um, make them work the right way. I know burning them is a good idea to burn them so you really don't get any kind of chemicals in your body that are stuck there on that coil. I just need to find my tweezers. I got my scissors. And I got some decent tweezers that I use. These are my plastic non-conductive ones. They're kind of cheap, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, and I have a nice, nice little tweezers. I really get need to get more professional with my tweezers and tools I got, especially for building this crap. But I love these tweez these clips here. Very nice to cut close up. Easy to store. You just put that back. Stays open. Stays closed. This is very old, by the way. So let's start working back on this coil. So this is gonna go in here. I think that's about right for the size. And then see how your pot negative is gonna sit right about there. It's gonna slide in. So we're gonna just have to, positive is right there, folds into that little hole right there. We're gonna get our cotton ready. I gotta burn this real quick. Um, I need a lighter just to do this. So I'm just gonna grab my lighter. I'm not using a torch. This gets red hot very fast. If you don't like the black stuff building up on here, go below the red red uh, heat. The blue fire will get red hot, but it won't leave a black smut, the black smut on your coil 
and I am doing this because it needs to be sterilized. So I'm not going to squeeze it much. This is the size I actually want. Once again, this is for the for um, the I don't even know how to pronounce it right. The Kangaroo Box Mini. And this is for the coil. The, not the pre-built. Yeah, this is for the pre-built coils that come with the, the Kangaroo Box Mini. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. All right, so I got my coil what? built. Now, what I do yeah, is I get my cotton. I got a piece here I'm going to use because I'm not going to ruin a bunch of good cotton in case if I mess up. All right, so basically on this, what I use is, and believe it or not, yes, I use the thin layer that comes off the top. I save them because they are useful, especially for these builds. The cotton's very sturdy, and the reason why I use it is because it's just perfect. It's perfecto. So what we're going to do is we're going to line that up, make sure we got the right amount. All right, grab your scissors. You want to try to cut that as good as you can. Just kind of eyeball it. So now what you got is a nice piece of cotton here that's just about perfectly stiff enough to wrap around this coil and you want to get it as snug as you can and that's why this coil is actually perfect for this kind of build um, just because of the way it is it's a nice thin layer you can stretch it out a little bit to tighten it up if you have to and you can use that whole piece right there look at that and that's my cotton right there you get your coil negative coil wire right here now what you want to do is you just stick something there to get that out of the way actually where's the screwdriver I used alright um, one, another thing that you can also do is cotton doesn't want to usually stay put. So a lot of the best things to do, we're going to use this juice here. Actually, no. We're going to use, no, I barely have any of that left. Um, what do I have in here for juice? Um, we're going to use this juice here to wet the cotton. As long as she knows how to, you know what you want to do is you want to wet your cotton and the reason why is you're not going to be able to work this cotton perfectly until you wet it hey guys too loud um if you can't wet if you don't wet the cotton and you use a dry cotton into your coil first of all the the juice is like a oil and it's going to work as, as a lu a lubrication it's going to be used as a lubrication and the lubrication will allow the coil to go into the coil the proper way and you see that how it holds it in place and it just allows it to stick there and it kind of gives it that shrinky look like it shrunk some a little bit because it's wet so I don't even know if that's enough cotton, to tell you the truth. We're going to test it out right now and see how that fits in here. See that? Now, that's not even snugged. It's pretty loose. So I am going to want to put another piece in there. And we still got to pull this out a little bit. There. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this piece here once again. We're going to eyeball another piece. We're going to cut it. We're going to take that piece and we're going to place it on. And that oil, see how the oil just, that juice just kind of holds it there. Oops. Uh, it's stuck to my finger now. Now we're going to, we're going to stretch that across. A little bit more cotton. 
Because you definitely want enough cotton on these coils. Um, you definitely want enough cotton on these coils. You want them to hold enough juice, and you want the juice to be able to go in just the right way. So let's just squish that all about. There. So now we're going to try this again. Should be good. This time I'm going to do it this way. Alright, there we go. Oh, my coil got stuck. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this so I don't damage my coil. And try to work it in. And what I'll do is I'll grab it here. Oops. And kind of just try to work it in there. go this uh, this will end up getting bent down in there placed in there nice want to make sure these pieces are in there nice and that Stop. are you serious right now go sit We're having trouble with Roblox. doesn't give you a right to do what you just did for no reason knowing that it's gonna make noise while I'm trying to make a video and for disturbing me I'll disturb your fun time so there you go. I asked you to sit. Okay. So now you have your cotton in the coil. Oh, it's not. Yeah, you've been on there for a while, Xavier. It's not his turn, though. It is his turn. It's 5 o'clock. I'm jungle! No, you did not. You've been on all day. You've been on since you got out of school. Over a stupid game. Yep. And I'm trying to make a video and you guys are disrespecting that. I don't bother you when you're messing around with your games. And then you just push that. Sorry guys, I forgot. To, I kind of skipped that part. But you push that in there. Um, sometimes it might not come out perfectly flush, flush, but believe me, you want to get it as flush as you can. I messed up on that one. Shoot. Alright, so we're gonna have to do that again for a second. I kinda messed up on that one. No, today has been four years since my Aunt Shirley died, and today is would have been my Aunt Sandy's seventy seventy second birthday. Oh wow. No wonder why I've been partly tracking you. There we go. It just snapped into place. That's what it's supposed to do. I was wondering why I didn't do that, but I got it. Cotton on both sides showing through. The holes, see, when they put these in, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but when these are in, if you look down, this, this, the, the uh, slide that went in there, that slide is not on the right, well, it might be on the right way, but it's kind of over some, blocking the hole a little bit, align a certain amount of juice. If you pop that out and reinstall it when you buy it, brand new, if you look at it and it's closing the hole some, you could pop it out, slide it over, put it back in to open up the hole more so you get more juice going in there. Um, that's what I would suggest to do if you're having problems on that part. Um, basically, now all I do is take my uh, negative, my positive wire bushing thingy here to protect the negative from the positive or to protect whatever whatever so that's gonna go just like that because that's I believe that's how it goes it snips off on the edge right there the negatives up on top touching the frame which is this okay so this I'll go like this both wires are supposed to be coming through. That's what it is. One's negative, one's positive. This one's the positive. It goes on this way, like this. Oh, my fingers are slippery. 
But it goes in just like this. Boom. I got robots on my phone. Positive is right here. Now, I really don't have a positive pin. Now, that's a problem I'm running into, but I have another pin somewhere else that I'm going to use. As soon as I can find what I did with it. Um, I had another pen somewhere. I just kind of had it and kind of lost it at the same time. Um, where, oh, where did my pen go? Oh, where, oh, where did it just go? Wow. I literally misplaced that pen I needed. Oh, wait, no, is this it? Oh, it's a screw. It's funny because that screw almost looks like it wants to work right there. There. There goes my pen. My positive pen. No, I need to find my pen. Where did it go? Oh, boy. Well, that's not cool. I misplaced it or I lost it or something, but I had it. I that pen was here somewhere, and I guess I just misplaced it somewhere. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I have a bunch of upstairs I can use, and there's a couple other ones I can use that are different. That's one of the ones that had the pen in it. I thought maybe, look at this tiny coil right here. See this little coil right here? That coil is the original coil that I got. I believe it is, yep. Original coils that you get for... This is the new one. I didn't even use this one yet. That's the new one, extra new one. I used it like for two days. But these are the new coils they give you for the rebuildable. And that's what I started off using. Then I made... My own, same size, kind of, and stuff, but a lot more wraps. I've tried all different types of coils. I'm never happy with a coil build I make. Just seems like I can never get what I want for like the flavor and stuff. So we're just gonna trim this. I know there's just still a screw in there. It's fine. Oh my God, what are you doing? It's fine. It is okay. Sometimes. So, what we're doing, let this drain a little bit. Because I don't want to just. We're going to take this coil out. And then we're going to take this apart. That's my rebuildable. I'm very happy with the build I have in there right now. You had it in your pocket? I'm going to take that out. You need to stop. Danny, you're using the remote. Put it down. We're going to put our... It's not working, obviously, so find something else to do. Or I'm going to shut the damn thing off. I really don't care. Yeah, I just about had it with you guys in this uh, game right now. We're going to take that. We're going to pop this in. Now, remember what I said. I'm not sure if it works because I don't know if the connection is right for the negative part. Um, I'm not sure if it connected because of the way I did it. I'm just rushing doing this. And we'll figure it out in a minute. But basically, you guys, if you saw how I did that, that's basically the start of rebuilding your kit, your coil. Um, so if you want to save money and don't have to buy coils... What I show once again, this part is in here. You put that piece on an angle in there. You don't want to get to the bottom because honestly, that's what happens. Um, push down with pliers or something, and bam, this will pop out. It's you got to squeeze really hard. It'll pop out, and then you can start building your coil. I wouldn't take your coil out first if you don't have to. I would leave it in there. Um, if you could avoid having to take it out this way, you can see how it's. Honestly, if you, you can see how it's done. Uh, we're going to install this part here. And it's working. I hear it in there. So 
So this is, sorry, this is the rebuildable. Uh, this is the coil, the coil that comes with it. And I re just rebuilt it. Got a little taste, I gotta break it in. I love Clark. I, I never played it before. It's really good. Um, yeah. You just gotta make sure you got enough cotton. Uh you gotta make sure that your coils right oh, and I have for seven point zero watts. One point I can't see. Um, I cannot see. I need to put my glasses back on. All right, so we got 1.2 ohms, 7.7.0 7 volt. That's it. That's how you rebuild your own coil. All right, guys. Uh, you might want to have to edit that. Like, comment, and like. Tell me what you think. And I'll come up with some new uh, hacks for coils and stuff like that. Uh, I just wanted you guys to really see how to do this because I think it's a good money saver for a lot of people. And I don't know. Just try it out. See what you think. That's how you rebuild one. I'm glad I could help someone out. Hopefully, if I help someone out, I help them out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, peace out. This is D&D's Vapes, uh, Coil Hacks. Have fun. Be safe. Remember, cigarettes kill you, not vaping. So, have fun.